Hey guys and welcome back to episode two of this cavern build and this episode we're going to be looking at framing the walls. So firstly what we need to do is cut the timber to length for these walls and so let's do that now. Now we've got the timber cut, let's get this framed. kind of level for now, temporarily level, and that way I can build the back wall um, and butt it up next to it, and then those two should stabilise itself somewhat, so um, back wall's next. So we got two walls done, which is nice because they support each other. So they can kind of stand there without the risk of them falling down. The next wall's actually got a window in it. So this one's gonna be a little more interesting. So we've got all the timber here. So let's get that one done now. So three walls up, um, that probably does it for today. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do the front. So the front's gonna have two doors and two windows, but you'll see more of that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with the three walls. They're all straight, they're all square, as far as I can tell right now, they're all level. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. So the first thing on today's list is the laminated beams that go above the doors and windows and they're going to be glued and screwed. So we're in the workshop this morning as it makes it a little bit easier to work and then we're going to cut all the rest of the wood for the front wall on the cabin and then we're going to take it all down there and assemble it.
glue these beams together, I'm using um, five minute polyurethane glue. And it's really good stuff because it's really quick. It's not quite five minutes. I mean, you probably wanna give it a bit longer than that, but it's waterproof, it's strong as hell, and it dries really quick. And by the time I've cut the rest of the beams, this one will be dry ready for cutting, so it's perfect. To get started on this last wall, I just wanted to mention Triangle Limited, who are the company that put this galvanised base together. Um, the metal fabricator is based down in Fording Bridge, which is south of England, um, but I'm pretty sure anywhere in the UK would be fine for them. It makes my life so easy because it's perfectly square and perfectly level to start with. If you check back in the first video, when I'm building the base, you'll see that I don't really need to take any measurement to check that I'm square because I can just rely on that base. So there's more details of this in episode one of this, this series. So if you want to look at the base in more detail, go check out that video. But yeah, Triangle Limited, go check them out. So I've got this frame roughly laid out now. Just to check all, I've got all the pieces here. So what we've got is a double door at the front and then two windows at the side. That laminated beam we made earlier is to keep the span of the top of the doors and windows nice and stiff and sturdy when the weight of the roof is leaning on it. So what we need to do now is just make sure our spacing's all right between the studs and then nail it all together. So after getting pretty much all of the frame assembled, um, these little shorts at the top are a bit too tight and I don't want to distort the frame by pushing them in. So I'm going to just trim all these down. I've got 11 of those just to trim down and then we can stand this frame up. So the walls are framed. We still need to do the insulation, we still need to do the panelling, but we won't do that until we've done the roof. Um, so the roof will be the next episode. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see the next one. Go back and watch the first video if you haven't seen that. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.